It's field trip time. Are you ready? <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. At about 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday, me and about 20 to 25 of my paleobiology classmates piled onto a school bus and headed southeast from the university. It was over a three hour drive to our site, so we just sat back, I pulled out my 3DS, and enjoyed the ride. We stopped just south of Dillon, Montana at the Clark Fork Reservoir. Lewis and Clark actually camped here, right where that water is now. We would be stopping at a location across the lake, and then also at a different one right about there. This is Lodgepole Limestone, part of the Madison Group. And it's composed of calcite and yellow mudstone and some conglomerate, which was oddly placed. Look how big that bastard is! Holy shit! This guy's got a winner! Oh winner, winner, chicken dinner. Both okay. halves. The whole thing's oh there. My God. What you got? An entire a huge one. Right. Wow, that is a beauty. I know. That it's is a beauty. Like, I want Everybody, to look open. at this one. This is a really oh, wow. good one. Wow. Wait, actually, so, see if we can identify it. What is it? <laughs> Which one do you think it is? Uh, show me the shape of it. It's a brachiopod. So wow. it's got a sulcus and a fold. I'm gonna try it just for you guys. <laughs> All right, I, gotta, I gotta give you all a chance. I found some little brachiopods. Not as big as those other ones, though. This next spot was just at the other side of where we were digging at first. A lot of the fossils that we were looking for were actually just laying right on the ground. They had been eroded out of the limestone for us already. So it was kind of like, ooh, walk around, mm -hmm. pick up a crying mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever fossils you didn't find just conveniently laying on the ground outside of the limestone, you had to take the hammer to it to try and chisel it out a little bit. And I should probably mention that all of the fossils that we were finding were about Mississippian in age, meaning that they were between 359 million years old and like 318 million years old, so they were pretty old. You get it? Yeah. This is unnecessary. There are ones as big on the ground. <laughs> Here you go. Amber wants what she wants. <laughs> well, see. I've yet to find a woman who doesn't think mm -hmm. she wants what she wants. Look, I found a red crinoid. Ew. <laughs> 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 I think it's just a washer. Yes. I know. <laughs> I know. You can see in this limestone where the rain has ate away at it. Oh. Look how square. I was hitting a rock and then a rock piece shot back at me and it got my finger. That was lodged into my knuckle. Some pretty big fish in there. He's all like sunburned. There are crazy people in our class. Our next site was on another place on the side of the road. These rocks were part of the big snowy group. You can't really hear what I'm saying here because there's so much wind, but I'm basically just trying to explain that those layers in between the limestone rocks are shale and it's super brittle, so when, when we were standing on this side of the road, the big scree slope, it was just very hard to stand because everything just wanted to slide down. If you fall on your face, I'm going to get it on camera, so don't fall on your face. <laughs> By the end of the trip, I had about five bags of fossils with me. We were out there for maybe five hours, and it was definitely a tiring drive all the way back to the university.